Saturday's fourth quarter down in Bloomington featured Ball State blocking a punt and returning it for a touchdown. Deidre Cromarty doing the blocking and freshman Malik Dunner the scooping and scoring. Overall, it was the 13th blocked kick by Ball State dating back through the 2011 season. Now we know in the five-year tenure of head coach Pete Lembo, special teams was something very near and dear to the program, an area in which the Cardinals excelled. But enter new head coach Mike New this past offseason and special teams coordinator Patrick Doherty, and you wonder what's the role of special teams going to be in this team. Well, as we found out on Saturday, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Cardinals still very good in that area still very high on the priority list and the Cardinals quite excited about that. I was really happy um, that special teams is such a big deal around here still with the new staff uh, because I was I was kind of afraid when the new staff would come in here it would kind of just be like an afterthought but it's still a third of the game and coach Doherty preaches that coach new preaches that it's a third of the game and if you do well in special teams you're gonna have a shot. You know they're not changing a whole lot of the, the schemes and some of those things there's a lot of carryover and Guys were confident in the stuff that we were asking them to do and felt felt comfortable with the, not only the techniques but the scheme. So there was compared to offensive or defensive where there's a lot of transition there. I think it was a little bit easier for the kids. It's the fundamentals on special teams that really uh, keep the continuity together. Um, we've been doing the same technique over and over. The drills. Uh, Coach Doherty's really got us really well coached, and um, everybody knows where they need to be at the right time. Let's watch the left side of the screen. Just good pressure. No one even touches him as he gets to Gideon and takes the ball right off his foot. The kids did a really good job kind of communicating on the sideline just of, of what, you know, kind of how they were blocking some things. And we had a, had a plan. We really didn't go into the game planning to go after it a whole lot and just because their operation times had been really good and, and didn't know if we could get there. And uh, then we kind of just, as we kind of got to the game, we had a few reps. Guys communicated, hey, I think this might work, this might work. And we made a couple adjustments. And, and uh, you know, we kind of, I think, caught them in a kind of miscommunication and, and guy came free. I mean, for me, it's a great feeling because he didn't get it off. Because I'm normally watching the other team's punter, how he's performing, that kind of thing as it is. And when he gets a punt block, it's the greatest feeling for our team. Good, good momentum builder. Cromo made a great play and he came off the edge, like ripped around the edge and did exactly how we practiced. He had low hands and took it right off his foot. And that was a huge uh, momentum shift for us. I think we got some big playmakers on this team and some guys that really want to sell out for the team. Um, when you make a big play on special teams like that, it can really change the uh, outcome of the game. We always talk about that one shot opportunity because special teams is one play. Um, you know, if you get that one opportunity in the game, you kind of make the most of it. Other notables from special teams Saturday, Morgan Hagee did bang through a couple of field goals, and Kyle Schmidt through two weeks. His fourth year punting, averaging 42.6 yards a kick. That would go down as his career high. See how the special teams fares Saturday when the Cardinals have their home opener, hosting Eastern Kentucky at 3 o'clock at Schumann Stadium. Until then, and from the practice fields, I'm Joel Godet for Ball State All Access and BallStateSports.com.